Well, good morning. We are in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Chiang Mai is the collision of old and new world here in Thailand. We're in beautiful Old Town, and I'm gonna show you Old Town. It's lovely. It's a piece of the past in Thailand. It's a beautiful place with old structures and beautiful waterways. At the same time, you have all the modern amenities of the new world in Chiang Mai. And that's why people choose it as a destination because you have that mix. While we're here, I'm gonna show you this great little bed and breakfast that I'm staying at. And there's a lot of really cool places like this in Old Town that you can stay. And don't get me wrong, we are surrounded by places that can fit whatever needs you're looking for. We also gonna take a look at a market that comes through and enjoy some snacks that we pick up along the way at the market. It is very nice to be back in Chiang Mai again. There will always be a piece of my heart here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. While we're here, we're gonna have a discussion as well. We're gonna talk about not always knowing exactly what you're going to do or what the itinerary is when you head to a new place. Instead, it's about exploring. It's about finding something new and that's okay. That's part of the fun and that's part of the adventure of travel. We've got a lot to see in Chiang Mai and I'm glad that you're coming with me. Let's go explore Old Town. Let's go. <laughs> Chiang Mai is a beautiful place to wander and relax and explore. And part of that exploration is not knowing exactly what you're gonna find. Part of it is being surprised. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about not necessarily knowing exactly what you're gonna find when you travel. Instead, letting travel surprise you. Chiang Mai Airport is easy to navigate. It was 150 baht. That's about $5 to get from the airport to my hotel. Very friendly and easy. Hi. Yep, 40, yep. Thank you. When I got here, they told me there was a market that was taking place in Old Town. So they said they would get me as close as possible to my destination. And it worked out perfect because I was able to enjoy the market as I walked over to my new guest house. Gap's house is actually a bed and breakfast and culinary school. It was fantastic. It was such beautiful grounds here. The people are very friendly. Uh, I really enjoyed this. This is exactly the type of place that I try to find when I travel. A piece of old history from the place that I'm going to. And this was perfect. Gap's house, I will definitely come to again. This was $15 a night for me, and I decided when I got here, you know what, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Quiet, beautiful. They have Wi-Fi here, all utilities included. It's a nice central location inside of Old Town, and there are a lot of neat little bed and breakfasts like this inside of Old Town. If this is what you're looking for, you're gonna find plenty of great choices. They also have a nice breakfast available for you every morning as part of the bed and breakfast deal. It was great. Are you gonna find good Wi-Fi, <laughs> right? Are you gonna have hot water at your hotel? Are you going to be able to find places to go in the evening? And what is the nightlife gonna look like? These things have to do with the adventure of travel. You don't have to know everything that happens. Instead, do your basic research and go. Go explore, go see what you can find. When I'm traveling somewhere new, I don't wanna know all the answers. I don't wanna know exactly what's happening there. I don't wanna know everything. I want to know the basics and I want to find the rest out for myself. 
Because to me, that's the fun in travel. It's about being surprised. When I travel somewhere new, maybe I don't know exactly where I'm gonna eat. Maybe I don't know exactly if I'm gonna have utilities at the hotel. Is it gonna be hot water? Will there be Wi-Fi there? I don't know. But we'll figure that out when we get there. None of that is gonna mean whether or not you're gonna enjoy yourself. None of that is gonna mean whether or not you're not gonna be happy and healthy, because you will be. Just go and explore. Travel and let the new destination surprise you a little. Chiang Mai is a place of art. It's a place of culture and music and having a open market like this this happens every week you will love to just wander and find things <laughs> Simple arts and crafts, food, freshly cooked. I love to go to these kind of open markets like this. They just make me feel comfortable. They make me feel like I'm part of the local culture and the local scene while I'm just relaxing. And of course, you know me, I always like to find these little bracelets as I'm in different countries and kind of gather them throughout the year. Thank you so much, thank you very much. Throughout the week, Chiang Mai will surprise you. There are events that occur that you didn't expect. Grab yourself a little bite to eat from the side of the road, something you've never tried before. These, by the way, delicious. These have chives inside of them, maybe just a little touch of seafood. And I love these over here too. These are pork shumai. Oh my gosh, they're so tasty. A little bit of fresh fruit here. These are about a dollar a bag. You can't go wrong with that. Thank you. Yes. This was something homemade that I noticed. I was like, wow, let me give this a try, a little honey crunch. So you make these at home yourself? You make these. That looks great, thank you. Back to the bed and breakfast, sit down and let's try out all these things that we discovered. You don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to know exactly where you're gonna go eat that day. You don't have to know all the sites. You don't have to have an itinerary set up for your entire trip. It's okay just to go. It's okay to just go explore. When you travel like this, I look at my travel the same way as I'm living my life. I'm living it in a minimalist attitude. So I live as a minimalist. I don't own a lot. In fact, I hardly own anything. I travel with one backpack. I own a few items of clothing in the whole world. And I do the same thing when I travel. I travel as a minimalist. I don't have all the answers. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I find something amazing when I get there. For me, going to a new place and wandering around or going to a place that I know and love and finding something new, that is traveling for me. I'm looking for the experience. I'm looking for the difference. I'm looking to find something and do something that I haven't done before. That's why we travel. Just turn a corner and find something new.
You see, it's in our nature that we want to be in control. It's in our nature as humans that we want to have everything organized and everything laid out exactly what we're going to do today or during a vacation. And I feel completely different. I don't want to have an itinerary for every single day. I want to just go explore. I want to find something beautiful, something that I've never seen before, a coffee shop I've never walked in before, a restaurant that I've never eaten at, that's tucked away down an alleyway. That's what I want to find. I don't want to know exactly what my vacation is going to look like. I want my vacation or my travel to surprise me. Doing the basic research so that you have an idea of what that area is gonna be like. What is the temperature gonna be like? This time of year, what is the rainfall? <laughs> That's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. But my thoughts for you is this. Don't over plan your trip. Go there with an open heart and an open mind. Explore, walk around, find something that you didn't expect. Eat somewhere that you didn't expect to eat and a food that you've never tried before. And you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed at what you can find. You see, part of travel is to step outside of what you are used to, to get a little out of your comfort zone each time you go somewhere. That's how we grow. That's how we learn about the world. That's how we start to appreciate that there are differences. These last few years of being retired and travel, that's been a big part of what it's been about is discovering these new countries to find out which ones I want part of my life. Maybe I don't have everything planned out. Maybe I don't have, you know, the maps and a list of places that I'm gonna go and things I'm gonna do. But in a way, it's like the new destination is introducing itself to me. If I find an interesting little coffee shop or a restaurant, it's like it's saying welcome to me because I'm the new person in town. And so I don't always have, you know, my itinerary down. <laughs> in fact, just the opposite. I want the new destination to surprise me. I want to be greeted by it. When we discover something new, we are like children again, seeing something for the first time. And to me, that's happy and healthy. I want to thank you for spending some time with me today. We got a chance to explore some old town Chiang Mai, and we've got a lot more to see here. We're not done. I'm going to be here showing you Chiang Mai, and I'm going to also be showing you other places in Southeast Asia as well. You see, we travel the world low cost with just one backpack. That's what we do here. And I would like you to come along, like and subscribe the video. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever been here to beautiful Chiang Mai. And we are gonna go get ourselves a nice cup of coffee now and continue our day. What a great place to go for the morning walk. My goodness, I love Chiang Mai. It's healthy, it's just, it's a good feeling to it. We'll talk again soon, aloha. This mad dog right here. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. How you doing? How you doing there? Huh? Is this your alleyway? Is this your alleyway? Are you in charge of this alleyway? Yes, you are. You're in charge. Nobody's gonna get through here. Yeah. You're just one of them mad dogs on the loose right here. Yes, you are. Yep. Look at this good dog. Yeah, you're a good friendly dog. Hmm, are you a mad dog on the loose? Yes, you are. I don't want all the answers when I'm going to a new place. <laughs> Whoa, I just slipped and hurt myself. <laughs>